What's up everybody, my name is T-Quay and welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, I saw Nasty was attacking, so I figured we'd roast this before I... Oh, and he's using the topic of this video. But, without further ado, I've been gone for a minute. I, had real, I went back to universities I may or may not have mentioned in a prior video. And that took up a lot of my time, but I'm back for now because I'm back home and I got a topic to record on. So without further ado, let me just and let me remind you of a few things that we caught up on. One, as, as for a streak that will probably continue, Nasty has had about two triples in between the two months I stopped recording. That may or may not stay the same number right now. Two, I had a clan exp implode, but that's not important because we we still here better than ever and we chillin'. Three, two updates happened, one of which will be the subject of this video. And yeah, that's about it. So, hope you all enjoy. But today we're going to be talking about a new combo that is overpowered as fuck that... Oh my god, nasty, why you got... Alright, so pretty much... This this combo is called Blizzard Dragons, which is what Nasty is using right now. Basically, Blizzard stands for Blimp and Wizard, or more accurately, the Super Wizard, which is one of the new troops from inside the game. And it also combines the inv new Invisibility spell, which makes shit invisible, both your troops and, as you can see here, buildings. Now, this combo's OP, just nasty sucks, just kidding, your nasty's OP when he wants to be, but it's been, they've been using it a lot in our very sexual clan, and that's going to be the focus of today's video. So, we only got one Legends League replay at the moment, we got MP the OG, who support, apparently swagged all four heroes, looking like a pretty normal base, but basically the way you use this combo is you send the blimp and the super wizards into an area where you want to just take out a gigantic section of the base for pathing. Then you just send your dragons in and you use your heroes to funnel them and the rest of the spells to support them. Now I'm predicting that he's going to send the blimp on this air defense between the scatter shot and the eagle. Definitely mix those two up, but... Those are high value defenses, and then he just basically takes out this entire chunk of the base, which allows him to create a natural funnel to send his dragons, and then uses heroes to support them in the outside. But I don't use anything except Lalo, so what do I know? Also, this air sweeper could be a bitch, but we go see. What you got for us, MP? I already know it's better than Nasty's attack because it tripled. Okay, that makes sense because of the sweepers. So you got the blimp coming in, and you got the rage. Super Wizards with Barbarians to tank traps, and then you just keep them invisible. Each invisibility spell at the max level lasts four and a half seconds, so you just gotta, like, time it, you know? J just judge it, try it a few times in friendly challenges to get the hang of the timing. And as you can see, he got a nice section of the base done. Now, where could he go from here? There are these trash buildings that he's certainly gonna clear out with this baby dragon, probably, but... I would probably send the dragons straight through the town hall because they're behind the sweeper with the BK and AQ in this barracks and walking down this way to trim out this section and then the royal champion into this air defense to clear out here and force the dragon straight down to the eagle. Let's see if this is what MP actually did. Baby dragon, sort of similar. Oh, yep. I actually predicted something right. Now, the heroes went down... With the dragons, which usually doesn't normally happen, but they're still moving their way around a funnel, which is working out well. And then, it really just sweep through the base. There's not much to it. This is a very... It's not as easy as to use the witches from last year, but... Or last update, which were stupid as fuck. But, they ain't here no more, so we got the dragons. But, they are fizzling out a little, but... There's not that much bit of the base left, and he's got a level 25 world champion, still at a lot of health with her ability. Plus, like, four dragons and the other three heroes. So, yeah, it's looking good. And Alex is going to do a live raid for us, which is going to be... Hopefully he does well. He's been having great, great results in war with it. A few of his attacks I'll show you after this raid, but... We're going to see if he can pull it off in Legends League, but nice triple MP. And then, alright. We got 
the, the attack strategy was brought to us by Chopperino, who saw it from Gaku of Queen Walkers, one of the best attackers in the world, and he's been trying it in FCs relentlessly and inspired pretty much everybody else except my stubborn ass to do it. And I got nasty. <laughs> Don't worry if you fail, bro. I ain't go roast you like I did nasty. Alright. First of all, I don't know if you saw that, but that's a nice S donation ratio. Alright, I bet he's gonna blimp the eagle or this clan castle. But ring bases, this strategy works pretty well in ring bases, to be honest. Dragons have always done relatively well on them. But, yeah, he's blimping the eagle. Makes sense. Now, sending the blimp in. Oh, wow, there's a trap. This is literally the only way to defend this strategy. You trap the shit out of something that's an obvious blimp spot. Now, you could have probably froze the Inferno and kept the blimp alive, but even then, he's still getting a lot of value, because these wizards are basically ground E-Dragons. And we all know how strong E-Dragons can be. He's still gonna get the Eagle? Jeez, no he isn't, but... That's still... He didn't get a great passing there, but... He got pretty well, given that there's a tornado trap. Sorry about Discord, I got all the gamer hoes in my... No, I'm just kidding, it's probably one of my other clans telling me that I need to raid, because I don't do that a whole lot, but... Sending the dragons in... A bit early of a warden, please don't one star. It'd be... F yeah, this... May not be a triple, but... It's a... It's good for the video, because it shows how to defend this combo. And this is still going to get a lot of the base. He's just got to use his world champion to get the town hall, which should be fine because enemy queen is dead. And the other two heroes are over here. And yeah, he's salvaging the two start. This could still be a triple, if I'm being honest. There's not a lot of the base left. Spamming the ability might be a good idea. Get that air defense down. Um... Wow, it didn't go for it. But, yeah. That's a raid. Whether or not it's a triple, it's... Um... Okay, yeah, Queen died. This is not a triple. Good try. Just unlucky, but... Shit happens. So... Don't worry about what the final percent of that is. Let's go check out some war replays. So we are killing the shit out of this clan right now, and two pumps and a wiggle. And if any of these names look familiar to you, it's because it you have seen them in Green World in the past. And that's all I'm going to speak upon for that topic. But, let's get Alex to redeem himself and show one of his war triples. And, yeah, the NATO fucked him pretty bad. I'm I'm predict he's gonna blimp this scatter shot because just there's so much shit around it. Oh no, he's gonna blimp. You can blimp a town hall pretty effectively. I've been doing that a lot with my town hall twelves lately. On except with Lawloon instead of this combo. Both of them work well. So there are many ways to skin a cat. I believe that's a correct expression. If the if it isn't, then my bad. But now you can see there's. A big section of the bait, 16%, Jesus Christ. This shit needs to be nerfed ASAP, but it isn't, so I'm going to bring you all this video anyway. Alright, now he's sending the dragons down, and if he sends his he BK and Archer Queen at these gold mines, they'll swoop in down here, forcing the dragons straight through the middle of the base. And that's really the only thing you, you got to do for this attack, just predict the shit, predict the... Get the right blimp path, and then keep your dragons moving through the base. Since there's really not much technical shit of the attack, I'm going to keep it on 2 times speed, but... This is probably going to be very overkill. I mean, look at this. There just isn't a whole lot to do. You... I mean, yes, the dragons are dying out, but he's still got 3 heroes at full health, plus 2 abilities. It's just not... This attack is really fucking strong. Nice job. Now, early in the war, this is one hit that I want to share. One of our newer members, Harm, destroyed the shit out of this base. Very standard internet base, boohoo. But, 
there is a very important item that winds up not being used, if this is the correct rate I'm thinking of. But yeah, the blizzard bomb into there. She's about to get all four air defenses. That's crazy. <laughs> this shit is ridiculous, bro. I mean, look at that. Half of the base is just... Not literally, but half of the core of the internal sections of the base just got nuked. It's ridiculous. And then, yeah, it was just 90 seconds left. This clan decided to put triple ice golems in the clan castle for some reason. Might be why we're killing them so hard. Or we're just beasts like that. But, you get the point. Just send dragons in through this section. And you might notice as the attack is winding down... Harm decided she didn't need a royal champion. Fucking beast. Now let's go back to the last war, which is against this one-man Chinese clan. Or at least we think it's one man. But Alex came Alex came through with some nice hits, and as long as Wi-Fi as well as Wi-Fi and Nasty. These are the only triples Nasty has gotten in the last two months. Forget what I said at the beginning of the video. And all these were with Blizzard Dragons. So let's give Nasty some redemption too, and look at base 28. I have not watched this, but I'm predicting he's going to blimp the town hall. Maybe try and land him his air defense, get the scatter shot down, and get some pathing. Another thing you can look at is the time with the... Okay, I'm terrible at predicting these blimps. But look at the time and the raid. This is a quick attack. Yeah, it's not on the level of E-Drags in terms of how fast it is, but it's still very fast. So he's just sending the Blizzard in there. One important thing to notice when do, note when doing the blizzard is be careful with your invisibility spells. Because they make both troops and buildings invisible. So you don't want to make the building that you want to kill invisible along with the troops. Because then they'll just ignore it. They could still get lucky and chain it, but it's not reliable. So you got to be precise with it. But yeah, you just spam in the dragons, spam in the heroes, and try and go behind the sweepers. That was not behind the sweeper, but it clearly doesn't matter because everything's just sweeping through. Heroes are cutting out the outside to force the dragons to stay in the middle. Royal champion playing cleanup, and that's a triple. Nice one. So, who do I want to watch next? We already gave Harm a shout out. We gave MP a shout out, but he didn't triple this war. Um, who's even using this combo? Um, let's give baby Wi-Fi a shout out. That is not, that is not Blizzard Dragons. My bad. Yeah, Captain Wi-Fi with the triple number three. This is Blizzard Dragons, right? Yeah. I mean, again, you'll see. It's basically just. A, I'm gonna stop predicting the the blimp position because I'm terrible at it. But it's really just the same basic idea every time. You blimp something. Land, kill this entire section of the base, send dragons, keep keep them inside the base. I mean, just look how much of the base is being taken out. Now, I don't agree with that hero position because they have to go all the way around to funnel them a bit more in, but it's even though this base is slightly lower leveled, it's still working nice as hell. Well done. So, to close this video out, I'm going to show you one more blimp attack, blizzard attack from the previous war, but this one is not with blizzard dragons, and it's done by yours truly. It is with blizzard lalo. This works with just the, the blizzard technique, works with just about every attack, but it's the most effective with dragons, lava loon, and go wipe with super wizards. But basically, my plan for this attack was I'd Blizzard land in this compartment, take out the town hall and everything around it. Then I brought five invisibility spells instead of three because I wanted to use a couple invisibility spells to assist my royal champion to get through this scatter shot. Then I'd use that path to walk my heroes into the eagle compartment, take all that, get the archer queen down, and then just lolo down through here with a couple of bat spells to pick off the scatter shot. And a few headhunters, one to kill this enemy royal champion, and then a couple others just in case my heroes didn't make it to this enemy archer queen. So once again, Blizzard, same shit as is with the dragons. 
blimp, rage, visible. You got to be precise with your where you place your blimp because it will always go straight to the town hall. So you got to look, check your angles carefully if you're trying to land it in a certain compartment. And then, yeah, the royal champion. I still got three invisibility spells left. Always bring a little more invisibility spells than you think you'll need because you'd rather have too many than too little because you can use excess invisibility spells with other stuff. I completely failed to kill the royal champion there with my headhunters. But it's okay because my royal champion does pretty good damage to her and then if she was level 25 it might have killed but she isn't and then earlier i sent a yeti in here to kill this building and with the yeti might to kill whatever defense this was and it's really just sending my heroes in the standard suey stuff and just look how much of the base i'm getting before i even start my la my lalo and it's not like I invested a crap ton of true space into my Sui either. I still have 25 balloons and 2 hounds left, which is decent numbers. Now, my Archer Queen doesn't go where I want. She gets the Inferno and the Air Defense instead, which is pretty nice, but it means that I might not get this Eagle, so I have to send it with my King. So I gotta send a few balloons in to take it out, and then just send the rest of the balloons in here. I, since the Archer Queen's about to be a bitch, I just send my Headhunters in immediately and pop a Tome. Get the bats down in the dead zone of the scatter shot. No splash offense nearby so they can take it easily, but I decide to freeze it for some reason. Because I just feel like swagging, you know what I mean? But I mean, yeah, this is <laughs> this base just got completely wrecked. This combo is ridiculous, man. Both with Dragons and Lalo... Go White, Yeti Smash, Mass Hogs, Barch, Noah's Ark, you name it, it probably works. But that's about it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, hope you learned something, hope you can use this in your own attacks. Hopefully I upload sooner than my last break, but with that being said, TQA out, have a good day.